Hi, my name is Jeff Tucker. I'm a horse vet. These are my old horses that are retired out here. They've earned their keep. They're over 25 years old, all of them. And uh, I've been taking care of uh, some of their teeth for a long time. One of them for 24 years. And I've developed over these years a technique which I call the Tucker Technique of Equine Dentistry. What's really cool is it's based on 31 years of floating horses teeth and over 60,000 horses that I've actually looked inside their mouths and worked on. 60,000 horses is a lot. And from that I've gleaned a lot of information that I put into this booklet called the Tucker Technique of Equine Dentistry. Now why is this important to you? Well it helps uh, clarify a lot of confusion that's going on in equine dentistry today. And it helps clear up the misinformation, the unproven theories, and the facts that are not really good facts uh, to clarify and help you become a better horse owner. There's a time where we all thought that the sun circled the earth. And then we finally got some good facts put together and we found out that the earth actually circles the sun. Well in equine dentistry we have a lot of mis mislabeled facts that are making us believe things that are not true. They sound good on appearance, but they aren't really. So this is a quick and easy read. It's in simple words, it's in pretty large print, uh, and it explains the simplicity of equine dentistry as I know it based on my 31 years of experience and 60,000 horses. So please fill out the form, download this, enjoy the read, and then listen to what some of the other uh, clients have to say about their patients. Uh, I've got tons of videos of clients who have actually put in their own words and their own emotions just what this type of dentistry uh, means for them and their horses. And I urge you to take a listen to them too. So thanks for stopping by and I hope we can change the world to make equine dentistry very simple as it is and yet very good and in the best interest of your horse. Thanks.